Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fusion 360 for FTC series. This is the 11th video in the series and if you haven't watched the first 10 videos I recommend you do so by clicking on the card in the corner. In the last video we looked out at how to construct planes for reference in your sketches or other tools in Fusion 360. In this video we're going to take a look at how to create axes. Um, what are axes used for? They can be one one tool that we've used that uh, takes an axis is the revolve tool. Um, right now we've only just been using it with the provided axes which are the X, Y, and Z origin axes. Um, but you could use these tools that we're going to look at today to create a axis that's different for the revolve tool um, than one of those three options that are provided. Um, they can also be used for positioning and assemblies in reference for assemblies or reference in sketches. Um, so all of those are, are common uses for custom axes. Um, the tools are in the construct menu right underneath the uh, plane tools. There are six tools that we're going to be looking at. Um, these six tools right here. Uh, let's just go right in. And the first one that we're going to be looking at is the axes through cylinder, cone, or torus. And this takes a cylindrical face, a conical face, or a torus face. Um, as you can see here, it's not taking these flat faces on the top of the cylinder or the sides or top of the cube. Um, it's just taking this cylindrical face here. And if I select it, it just places a axis right in the middle of this cylinder. And it's just going vertical. Uh, so very easy. There's not really many settings with this one. Um, you just select the face and it places it for you. Um, the next one that we're going to look at is the axis perpendicular to point. Um, and that's right here in the construct menu. Um, and this one takes a face. Um, so I'm going to use this face as the example. And uh, when I place it, you can see that it's not like placing in the center of this face or anything like that. It seems to just be placing somewhat arbitrarily, but you'll see that it's actually placing where I'm clicking on the face. So if I click on the bottom left down here, it's going to place it at the bottom left. Um, this is similar to the axi perpendicular to face at point tool, which we will be looking at the end. Um, but for now, let's just move on to the axes through two planes. Um, so the axes through two planes, it takes two planes as the input. And what you might notice is that if I select this plane here, this top plane, um, I could not select this. It won't let me select this bottom plane. It'll actually clip through and select the plane behind it to the side. And it also will not let me select this top uh, face of the cylinder. And that's because the planes for this input, they have to be, um, they can't be parallel and they can't be the same plane. If they're the same plane, they intersect at infinitely many places, so it wouldn't know where to place the axis. And if they, um, they are parallel, it would intersect at zero places. Um, all other planes that aren't parallel or the same plane will intersect at one uh, line. And remember, a line is infinitely long, so are axes. So if I selected this plane here, it would be intersecting at this edge right here. And we can see it places the axis there. Um, so if I just uh, clicked OK, then we would get it there along that edge. Um, so remember, it, it will not be, you cannot use parallel planes or planes that are the same for that. Um, next, let's take a look at axes through two points. This one does not take a face or plane. It instead just takes two vertices or points. These can be sketch points or vertices on a body. So I'm going to use the top um, point here and the bottom point here, and it's just going to place the axes going diagonally through. And uh, this is going to be an infinitely long line. Uh, it's not going to create a line segment between these points. It's going to be infinitely long and extend out both sides. Um, we have two more tools that we're going to be looking at today, and that's the axis through edge and axis perpendicular to face at point. So uh, for the axis at edge, it takes a, um, a line input. And so if I use this as my input, 
all it's going to do is going to create an axis on this line. Um, this is a um, it's a more for when you have intersecting faces like this that have a hard edge like this cube. Um, it's a faster way than doing the um, the axes through two planes and then selecting the two sides and it'll create the plane along that um, that edge. It's just better, faster and better just to select the edge itself. Um, and the last tool that we're going to be looking at is the axes perpendicular to face at point. And uh, we looked at this face, so I'm going to choose this face again so we can compare it to this axis here, which we created before, which is just axis perpendicular to face. Um, so this one takes two inputs. Um, I have the face here selected, and then if I choose a point, if I choose the uh, bottom right, for example, it's going to create an, uh, an axis that's normal or perpendicular or 90 degrees to this face, and it's also going to be intersecting at that point. So if I um, if I went ahead and I created a sketch here on this plane, and we can hide the cylinder for now, um, and I placed a point in the middle like this, um, and I went to finish sketch, we would, can see that point, and then we use the um, axes perpendicular to face that point and I selected this point as my reference, it, we would then have an axis perpendicular to the space in the middle of this axis, uh, of this plane. So that's a very useful tool for creating um, axes at very specific places. Unlike the, the, um, the axis perpendicular at point tool that we looked at earlier, which, see, which is more uncontrolled. Um, that's all for this video. It's a short video, um, very simple, how to create all of these. In the next video, we'll be looking at how to create points using these six tools here. And then after that, we'll be doing some more work on our screw and nut. We'll be finishing it um, up the, the geometry of the nut, and we'll be using um, one of the plane tools to finish the geometry. Um, so I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video.